a heat conducting piston divides this vessel into two equal parts. So let's say it is P0, V0 and N, N number of moles and P0, V0, N number of moles. And let's say the temperature of both P equal, that is T initially. Now actually just only T0, <laughs> only T0 is given. But let's just assume these quantities as well for now. Find the gas temperature as a function of ratio eta of the volumes. So when this piston is moved and the ratio of these two gases is, so these two parts of the vessel is eta. So we need to find the gas temperature at that point. Now one thing we know that because the piston is moved very slowly and piston is heat conducting. That means temperature of the gas, whole gas is going to be same all the time. And the whole vessel is thermally insulated. That means there is no heat exchange across the vessel. So if we are doing some external work on the piston that must get converted into rise in internal energy of the gas. So that is our concept that work external is equal to delta U which and if you differentiate so dw external is equal to du so if you move this piston by a slight amount then that work done by the piston must be equal to incremental change in internal energy so let's use this concept and write dw external for first so dw is equal to f external into dx is equal to p2 minus p1 into adx because force external is equal to P2 minus P1 into A. The net forces on the piston are balanced. That's why these forces are equal. So we write ADX as dV. So we are considering this volume as dV. So you might be wondering what is, what is this dx? So if the, let's say the piston is moved by amount of dx. So in that case, dW is this. So we got rid of x early on. That's why I'm, I have not written what is dx. So moving on, we'll write P2 and P1 as nRT by V2 minus nRT by V1. So we have successfully introduced temperature. Now about V2 and V1. So if we can write V2 and V1 in terms of V, we will be good. So what is the v, V1 at this point? So V1 is V0 plus V. And what is V2? V2 is again V0 minus V. So that's what we have done. NRT will take out and V2 will write as V0 minus V and V1 will be V0 plus V into dV. So we simplify that and get TW as V T V dV by V0 square minus V square. So we have got the term of T V and that is good. Now we will equate that to du. So incremental change in du we can write as in terms of incremental increase in temperature. So for the whole gas the temperature is same. So du becomes total number of moles of the gas that is 2n and for this part and for this part into Cv which is r by gamma minus 1 into dt. Some of the things will get cancelled and will be left with this equation. So now you can see we have got a term of dt also here. So this t will take on right side. So our sim equation simplifies to be v dv by v0 square minus v square is equal to 1 upon gamma minus 1 dt by t. Now limits of temperature. So initial temperature is t0. So it will be t0 to t. And limits of volume will be from 0 to this quantity. So what is this quantity? So we have assumed that V is from the center how much ever the piston has covered that volume. So initially the piston was at the center so it is 0 and finally the piston is here. So what is this volume? So for that we'll take the help of this. It is given that uh, ratio eta is of the volumes of this part and this part. So what is volume of this part? That is V0 plus V. That is given as eta times volume of this part. And volume of this part is V0 minus V. 
Solving this, we get the value of V in terms of V0. So that's what we'll put here. So these are the limits of V. So we solve these integrals and I, I, I ran out of the space, but uh, I can assure you that V0 will get canceled. So what you will be left with is the T in terms of T0, which will be our answer.